Welcome to the scholars learning classes. This is the last topic of your chapter physical and chemical changes that is crystallization. Now let's study about the crystallization. See, in your 6th standard you might have studied about the evaporation. I have told you in my previous video of the 6th standard science that what is evaporation. See, whenever you evaporate the water, uh, the sea water if you evaporate, at the end you will uh, find some, you know, uh, a uh, substance that is remained out, that is, uh, you know, left out, the residue. The residue is the salt that you find out, right? Now, you can take some uh, sugar grains in a plate. After that, look at sugar uh, granules. Through your magnifying glass. Now you will see the basic shape of all the uh, sugar granules that is the shape of a cube. Your sugar has a shape of a cube. Now these cubic structures of sugar are called crystals. Right? Now the structure or you can say the solid structure of a substance is known as crystals right now the process of obtaining crystals from the solution of these substances is called crystallization now uh, I will tell you one of the experiment that you can perform with the guidance of your science teacher in your science laboratory uh, let's see this uh, experiment and how you can find out the crystals now the activity is, uh, is now take a cup full of water in a beaker, take water in a beaker, and add few drops of dilute sulfuric acid. Add few drops of dilute sulfuric acid. Now, uh, while adding uh, this dilute sulfuric acid, now heat the water. After adding this, heat the water. Now, when water comes to boil, when water starts boiling, add copper sulfate powder. Copper sulfate Powder. that might be available in your chemistry lab so you can help uh, get, do this experiment with the help of your teacher now after adding the copper sulfate powder add slowly and keep stirring keep stirring it continuously do not stop and keep on adding the uh, copper sulfate powder very slowly slowly and keep on stirring it now after the copper sulfate powder gets completely dissolved and no powder is left in it filter the solution now filter the solution allow the solution to get cool now do not disturb the solution while, while it's cooling look at the solution after some time you will see the crystals of the at the end after cooling after cooling of solution you will see crystals of copper sulfate
so this is the experiment that you can do and this process is the crystallization because you are obtaining the crystals from the solution of you are obtaining the crystals of copper sulfate from the cop, uh, solution of the copper sulfate powder right so this is this method is known as your crystallization and at the end the residue that will be left will be your crystals so ultimately our aim is to find out the crystals from the solution of that particular substance i hope you have understood this if you have any doubt you can write me on the comment box i will help you out and don't forget to download our scholars learning app